countrymen and women, I would like to welcome you all to this press briefing regarding the events circulating in both print and electronic media following the speech by His Excellency, the President, Mr. Hakainde Ichilema, during the official opening of the fourth session of the 13th National Assembly, which happened on the 13th of September, 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ministry of Justice has regrettably noted with concern that there has been a deliberate scheme by people with bad intentions to mislead the general citizenry on the President's pronouncement in relation to Article 52.1 of the Constitution, Cap 1 of the Laws of Zambia. The President, in his speech, informed the nation that the government is committed to facilitate an effective, effective and credible process to address the lacunae and ambiguities in the Constitution. By way of example, the President went on in general terms to make reference to Article 52.6, which requires that the Electoral Commission of Zambia to cancel an election where a candidate dies, resigns, or is disqualified in accordance with Article 70, 100, or 153 or where a court disqualifies a candidate for corruption or malpractices. After the close of nomination and before the election date. Further, the article empowers the Electoral Commission to require the filing of fresh nomination by eligible candidates and elections to be held within 30 days. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, the president in his remarks did not in any way express government's intention to manipulate the constitution and extend the tenure of the office of the president. I think I want to be categorical here that the president in no way indicated a desire to amend the constitution of Zambia without consensus from all key stakeholders and indeed the Zambian people. It has never been the intention of the UPND New Dawn government to extend the five years term of government as guaranteed in the constitution. This is clearly demonstrated in our manifesto as UPND that underscores the commitment of our government to establish a durable constitutional order that will catalyze the political economy, social and development, social development of our country. It is in this regard, as government, we want to reaffirm our commitment and assure all the Zambian government that any attempt to amend the constitution shall be done in a manner that reflects the principles of transparency, inclusivity, accountability, and consensus with the Zambian people. The UPND manifesto categorically requires that the completion of a constitutional reform agenda shall be anchored on broad based consensus among all Zambians. The presidential pronouncement on this issue was to highlight the potential dangers of abuse of Article 56, 52.6 by unscrupulous candidates who may cause the disruption in the electoral process by resigning or facilitating dis dis disqualifications. Repeatedly, this would lead to cancelled of elections by the Electoral Commission of Zambia. You may further recall that the ripple effect of abuse of Article 52.6 was demonstrated by the occurrence of the costly by election that was witnessed following the resignation of a candidate in the last held by election in Kawata constituency. 
This led to a serious drain on public resources and therefore the country risk having similar cases as long as the article is maintained in its current state. It is for this reason, my fellow countrymen and women, may I take this opportunity to age, to age all well-meaning Zambians, including civil society organization, faith-based organization, political parties, to fully support the president in his quest to ask for more and inclusive constitutional process making. At no time did this indicate the president's intention or our government to amend the constitution of Zambia. I hope that we as Zambians will not be misled and I want to thank you all and I appreciate your attention. God bless you. God bless Zambia. One Zambia, one nation under one God. I thank you.